Welcome to the Reread Campaign, and we're up to The Beautiful Mystery, which is book eight in the series. Now, The Beautiful Mystery is different from all the rest. In fact, truth be told, I try to make each book different because I don't, I'm so afraid of falling into a pattern and a routine, so I really try to push it a bit. And in this one, I've decided to take Gamache and Beauvoir completely out of Three Pines. It's the first one, and I, and I recognize it as a bit of a risk. It was done on purpose. And I took them to a monastery. And I did that because in Quebec, there are actually quite a few monasteries still, and a number of the monasteries are, uh, have, have cloistered monks. And I, I love the idea of exploring that duality, because again, the books are about duality, of these men who have chosen to live in isolation and in silence, and yet who become world famous for their voices, for singing Gregorian chants. And also, uh, then of course there's a murder in the monastery, and then how Gamash can possibly decode that silence. And it really is in many ways a meditation on the different ways we communicate non-verbally, the different codes we send out, where in a, in a, in a community of silence, how a raised eyebrow becomes a nuclear bomb, uh, a, a turned shoulder is a threat, a smile becomes something else. There's, there's so much more potence to our gestures, and I really wanted to explore all of that in The Beautiful Mystery.